I'm Ton Rosendahl. I'm the chairman of Blender Foundation and producer of short open movie films. So it, uh, at SIGWAF uh, we've announced that we are going to do a next project. It's nicknamed Mango. And we're going to use the complete open source visual effect pipeline. We're going to explore all the components. We're going to use all the official programs like uh, Open Color IO, uh, Open Shading Language, uh, Open EXR. We're going to work on the, the color pipeline for uh, color grading. And we will have visible effects in Amsterdam with the science fiction theme. I think it starts in about uh, February. Then you announced the director. Who was the director that you chose this year? Yeah, so we've uh, asked Ian Hubert from Project London to be director. Yeah. Excellent. So now you were also talking about uh, um, a network that you were going to be uh, releasing, an internet uh, social sort of social media yeah. for uh, Blender. What's that like? Well, in order to be able to, to further have growth, we have to involve more professionals in our community. That means that we have to find ways to connect people if they want to have like services or phone support or pipeline uh, consultancy integration, bug fixing. And Blender Foundation or myself is not going to set up this business ourselves. So we are going to enable everybody to enable business with open source and Blender. That's what we call the Blender Network. But the website will uh, launch next month in September and we invite all professionals to look at it and, uh, and show the network. What is the future of the Blender game engine? Is there some development in that area? Uh, at the moment the Blender game engine has a couple of uh, projects in the Google Summer of Code. So they are improving uh, the animation system, for example. We kept everything what's in the game engine uh, at the same level as in uh, Blender itself. And there's people working on uh, shading and shaders yeah. for the game engine. Yeah. Uh, last question for you. I wanted to compliment you on how well Sintel turned out. I thought Sintel was just marvelous. I was also very impressed with the behind the scenes, the frankness of the production process yeah, the and the problems. Yeah. So congratulations on that. What has been the reception of Sintel? What is the reception? The reception, yeah. How has it been received? Yeah. For Sintel. That was really amazing. Of course, uh, YouTube, uh, everybody uh, is watching it. Our own YouTube film had uh, two and a half million views uh, for so far. For a 15-minute film, having so many views is uh, already really, really, really good. Because it only counts if you watch it completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how did uh, Sintel and the Open Movie Source advance Blender as a tool? What are some of the things that it added to Blender? So every time when we define to do a next project, uh, we look at uh, the, the development, what's lacking in Blender, what is really needed to be improved. And how can we do that in a way that we involve artists? Because we cannot design a good 3D tool without having the users involved. But that's the whole concept of an open movie. Put developers together, have really uh, advanced, complicated targets, uh, high ambitions to achieve content, put the artist in it, then you create some kind of natural infrastructure where the software is being developed. Mm -hmm. So for every open movie project we advanced in specific areas. For example, for Sintel, uh, the biggest achievement was, of course, stabilizing Blender 2.5, which was in the alpha at that time. Uh, everybody was using it in the studio, so it was a continuous daily 10, 20 fixes in the program. Is there an area of focus for the Blender development in the next open source movie? Like for the Mango project? Right. Yeah. So we are working on uh, motion tracking in Blender. It's, it's already there in the branch. It works for uh, putting markers or getting your mark the camera reconstruction out of it. Uh, we are working on 2D motion tracking as well, which is important for people who do uh, 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 2D effects on video. I like having text moving around or having masks like you can uh, paint on the eyes and then when you move your eyes will be uh, right. colored. The second thing is of course the cycles, render engine, the photo realistic rendering, which is an essential thing for, uh, for visual effects, and the color pipeline. Mm -hmm. When is the um, um, a chance to pre-sell the DVD? When is that going to happen? 
I have to find the right date. I think it will be November 1. November? Yeah. So people who want to contribute to that product or they can look for it yeah. to come out in November? But I'm first working out with Ian on ideas and concepts for the film. I got it. In September, October, we will do a public call for people to participate, to come over to Amsterdam. When we have the team complete, then we present ourselves and say, okay, so this is the team, this is the target, this is the developers, right. and uh, now you can help us uh, as sponsor. And you can get all that information at Blender.org, yeah, right? Of right? Blender.org and um, in a few weeks, mango.blender.org. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you too. Bye-bye.